Our other top story tonight, pro-Palestine protesters moved from the Diag at U of M to the Washtenaw County Jail. That comes after police cleared the month-long encampment on campus early this morning and made multiple arrests. Will Jones is live at the jail force tonight. Will, uh, are the people arrested still in custody tonight? Kimberly and Devin, all four were released around 1.30 this afternoon. They were greeted by supporters outside of the Washtenaw County Jail. And despite their encampment being cleared today, some say their voices will not be silenced. Dozens of demonstrators at the Washtenaw County Jail this afternoon celebrating the release of the four protesters who were arrested this morning as the University of Michigan police cleared the Gaza Solidarity encampment. Assad, a University of Michigan alum, was one of those arrested. This is why we stand up. When people are under attack, when there is injustice, you stand up and fight back. The encampment began in the Diag April 22nd to put pressure on the university to divest from Israel in response to the war in Gaza. Last Friday, university officials say the fire marshal deemed the encampment unsafe, but occupants refused to remove the fire hazards. So this morning, university police say they began clearing the encampment after giving three verbal warnings over a 15-minute period for people to leave voluntarily. Demonstrators accused campus police of using excessive force. Some say they were injured by officers. I saw a whole bunch of officers pushing and shoving my friends, so I just stood next to my friend in solidarity, and they picked me out of the line. They pushed me face forward. Actually, they slammed me face forward into the ground. My arm is injured. I did go to urgent care right now. They're saying it's just soft tissue damage. Personally, I think that my wrist is broken. A U of M spokesperson saying individuals will continue to be welcome to protest as they always have at the University of Michigan, so long as those protests do not infringe on the rights of others endanger our community, violate the law, or disrupt university operations. We're told the demonstrators will be arraigned tomorrow. Those arrested as for the use of force. Police say some individuals began throwing objects at officers, pushing officers, so that's why they made the decision to use pepper spray. We're live at the Washtenaw County Jail. Will Jones, Local 4. Okay, Will, thank you.